Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, it's Libby. Today I'm doing my May TBR. I actually have a TBR for this month. So, yeah, excuse the jets if you can hear them, they just decided to fly over. Go figure. But I have 10 books on my TBR. I might go into some manga later in the month, but it would be, I didn't grab them. Death Note Volumes 3 and 4, and then Spy Family Volumes 11. So, I'm going to start with the book on my Kindle, which is, I'm 51% into it. And it's a hockey romance, I'm really enjoying that one, and it's called Break the Ice by L.A. Cotton. I think it's L.A. Cotton. And it's a good hockey romance at the moment. So it's a brother's it's a brother's best friends trope in here because we have our main character who starts out at this university and she's moving in with her brother and a few of his teammates until her apartment gets situated. And then she starts falling for one of the teammates, so there's that. Look up the trigger warnings for that one, though, because there is a lot in there. It's pretty heavy, but it's talked about, but it's not directly on the page, if that makes any sense. So, I next one I have is Done and Dusted by Layla Sage. I've heard nothing but good things about this, and I haven't read a cowboy romance yet. And... Clementine is um she's um uh, reventing something I think this is also a uh, another brother's best friend romance so I've heard really good things about this. I'm just really looking forward to it. The cover is really unique. I like the cover, so I'm not going into it. I'm going into it blindly, not knowing too much about this one. So I don't know anything about much of these books, to be honest with you. So I've got a lot of romance on here. So I've got this one. That's. I have some new releases that came out in April. And some that have came out this year. We have The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. I have yet to read When in Rome and Practice Makes Perfect by her yet. But this one follows our main character, Nora. And she is the handler of a famous NFL person. And it happens to be her college ex-boyfriend. So it's a second chance romance for this one. And that is all I know about this book. So I'm very excited, looking forward to it. Another one, how many times am I going to say excited in this one? I'm excited for all of these, so sorry about that. I have The Catch by Amy Leah. I've enjoyed the first two books in this companion series. I want to say this is also part of that as well so I'm just not too much sure about this one this one we follow Melina and she goes to Canada and then something happens and then our main male character, Evan, he got into an accident, and then he wakes up, and then Mel is mistaken for his fiance. So, I'm excited for this one as well. So, I got this one. I have the book I'm currently reading right now, and that is The Score by L. Kennedy. This is the third book. In the off-canvas series, this one we follow Allie and Dean. So, I'm going to continue reading this one. I'm on chapter 4. 
I'm doing a vlog right now that's for hockey romances. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. I need to read, but we'll see. How's the score? Enjoying it. Then I have his fourth book, The Goal, which follows Tucker and Serena. That's all I know who these follow. And this one doesn't match. I ranted about it enough in my video where I picked them up. These are the new covers with the suede edges, but they don't match. But it, it's okay. I have the goal. So, hopefully I'll get to it. I also have another one that I'm in the middle of, which is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I started this last month and never picked it back up. I got to chapter 10, page 88, never picked it back up for some reason. I don't know why, but I am really enjoying this. We follow our main character, who her aunt passed away. And she inherits her apartment, her aunt's apartment. And then something about this apartment makes it magical. So she steps into her apartment one day after work and she steps into it seven years in the past. She's seven years in the past, future, and then who she meets is seven years of the past. But I think she has a little run in with him at the beginning of this book. I'm not too sure, but I think that's what happened. So I do need to go back into this and pick this up. I really enjoyed what I've read so far. I just need to read the rest of it and see where it goes from there. Then I have, I should have lived this one before I get to this second one that I have. Five Survived by Holly Jackson. I have not finished this yet. I have started it started it last year when it came out and never picked it back up I got to what did I get to chapter 17 page 131 I got to part 2 well not part 2 I got to 1am and for some reason stopped reading it and never picked it back up I was enjoying what I was reading this is 5 Survive they have, we have a group of people who go on spring break so instead of flying like the rest of their class they take an RV and they drive because one of their friends can't afford a plane ticket and they get stranded on this road and someone eventually starts shooting at them and they go one and yeah that's all I know so far. I heard it's really creepy, and from what I've read, it does get creepy. So, I haven't picked it back up yet, because I'm a big chicken when it comes to things creepy. So, I do have five survive on this list to finish. I also have, speaking of Holly Jackson, we have her newest book, The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Then pages and the broken camera. And this one, we follow our main character whose mother went missing when she was really young. And then 16 years later, or however many years later, is 16 years later, her mother vanishes, vanishes, and she comes back when they're filming the documentary about what happened. And our main character wants to discover what really happened. And there's that it's a typical Holly Jackson book. And the last one that I'm throwing in here, I have a lot of romance and thriller, mystery thriller. So I decided to throw in a fantasy. And I got Tempest of Tea. I'm not going to pronounce the author's name, but I haven't read We Hunt the Flames yet, but that's who wrote. She wrote We Hunt the Flames. But this one intrigues me more because it's, we have our 
main character who is a criminal mastermind and a collector of secrets. And she hosts a tea room in a, by, in a legal bullet house by night. So it has vampires and what have you. So I'm very excited to read this and see how it's played out. I've heard really good things about this. And we got a teapot there. So I'm very excited to see how this plays out. So. That is my TBR for May. Let me know down below if you guys read any of these. I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.